Hi everyone, um, I would like to point this out before going any further into videoing um, since it's my introduction video I have no videos created previously in this garage or any of my projects I would like to mention that this garage is, has a high security system installed um, both CCTV and TSM by their alarm system, which also is connected up to the company in the UK. And I think it's important that I point out it before going further with my video. Bam, 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 Right, hi everyone, welcome to my garage. My poster either brought you here or something else did. Either way, I hope you enjoy the whole channel. My name is Jeffrey Henderson. I come from a little village in Northern Ireland called Donaghy. It's near my city, Derry, Londonderry, and Townland, Sturban. People know me locally as being a car enthusiast, specifically around Hondas. There's two of them in the background here or someone who works in cars. However, this is not the case, as you will see by the end of this bit. Everything seen in this in the background or in this garage is projects that I've created. Uh, the garage itself is something I've built over the years and for my projects, to boost my projects. Uh, my projects are the projects I'm going to start with is basically basic projects and then they will involve more of the innovative projects, more precise and eye-catching work pieces that are not in the garage at the moment. I've been meaning to do this for years now, but it, has, it hasn't been easy, as you will see by the end of this pitch. I've decided to make this YouTube channel to show people my passion, creativity, skills and projects within engineering. Specific. Hard. This is why hard. I don't want to do this, really, but I have to do it. It's quite scary. Right. No okay. kid. <gasps> it's psycho. We got. Right. Be serious, Jennifer. Right, okay. Maybe how do we start this? How do we start this? Hi everyone, welcome to my garage. My booster, either brought you here or something else did. Um, in a way, I hope you enjoy. My name is Jeffrey Henderson. I come from a little bit of village. She messed up again. You messed up again. I don't want to do this, but I have to do it. It's quite scary. <laughs> okay. So. Right, okay. I'm so Hi everyone, welcome to my garage. Um, this is uh, my poster. Um, I created it for this YouTube channel. I'll be getting attention, area attention. Um, it either brought you here or something else did. Either way, I hope you enjoy. My name is Jeffrey Henderson. I come from a little village in Northern Ireland called Donaghy. It's near my city, Derry, Londonderry, and Townland, Sturban. People know me locally as being a car enthusiast, specifically around Hondas. There's two of them sitting here. Um, or someone, someone really who works at cars. However, this is not the case, as you will see by the end of the pitch. Everything seen in the background here is projects created by me. Some of them are here, some of them are here, and some of them are not here. There's a lot of projects stored elsewhere. Um, this garage is also specifically both and designed by me to boost my projects, build my projects. 
Um, I go to introduce this channel. Um, Hi everyone, welcome to my garage. You just can only see half of my garage. Half of my garage goes this way too, and there's more projects and stuff in it. Okay, so my poster, either brought you here or something else did. Word of mouth, maybe. Either way, I hope you enjoy uh, the, the whole channel as well. My name is Jeffrey Henderson. I come from a little village in Northern Ireland called Donaghy. It's near my city, Derry, London, Derry, and Thailand, Strahan. People know me locally as being a car enthusiast, specifically around Hondas. There's two of them on the left here. Or someone who basically just works in cars. This is not the case, as you will see by the end of this pitch. Everything seen in the background is my work, including the garage itself. All of my projects um, I'm going to introduce in this channel are handled at home. I will be starting with basic projects, but projects that are innovative to more precise and eye catching work pieces that I've created over the years. They haven't been just done on week's work. There's been a lot of time and design put into them. I've been meaning to do this for years now, this channel, but it hasn't been easy, as you will see by the end of this pitch. I've decided to make this YouTube channel to show people my passion, creativity, skills and projects within engineering, specifically involving around the categories computer science and electronic and electrical engineering and of course mechanical engineering. Rather than let the project sit on the cover, I believe it's now time to show them off as I'm not getting any younger. I am now currently 34, well in October. I believe uh, my projects are unique. Some may agree, others will hate. However, I'm not here for negativity, so the channel will be moderated softly. I am going to leave the comment section open for people to ask questions if they want. That's why I can answer them. I have been a keen fabricator since my early teens, covering specialist metal shaping, farming, and covering many types of welding, but now more precisely concentrating on TIG welding, um, as the metals I use for my projects is high grade stainless and aluminium. I always have had a huge interest in mechanical, electrical, and electronic, and computing engineering, so computer programming. From a very young age, I took a great interest in engineering, manufacturing. Example, when my siblings were being normal teenagers, I was the rare one stuck in the garage, and at times watching and helping my father build projects to all hours. In fact, when I was about 13 or 14, I remember clearly getting stuck or shocked by an electric motor, washing machine motor. And when I was trying to reverse the field windings, polarity, to switch the direction of the motor. I liked experimenting dangerously. In my school years, I was building motorized go pads to race the school bus with all my rollers to school in approximately 67 miles away. Um, yes, I won. I beat the bus. After leaving school, I joined um, an extended diploma in engineering at my local college. Um, so it's in the city and it's called Northwest Regional College. However, I was never a people person, much an uh, introvert, and I cut the course after a month. I then worked as a skilled engineer in industry for 15 years, dropping out of full time work at the age of 27. My areas of expertise were fabrication, um, specialist welding, uh, such as pipe purge welding for dairy products, and mechanical and electrical engineering. I then decided to go back and study mechanical and electrical engineering as I was subjected to five years of discriminating verbal and physical abuse in the workplace. Obviously, I can't mention no names for legal reasons. All I can say is there's one alcohol factory in my city. Thanks to this nightmare, it made me the person I am today. And I've achieved a lot until now, as you both see. Throughout my time as a fitter in misery, fellow fitters thank me for having no qualifications. 
Um, mainly because of the fact I was to learn with my ability and hard working skills, so I think that's the issue, that was the issue really. I should also mention that cleaners and office staff and production operators caused no harm to me and were very nice at the company. It was a selective group of fitters and their management I had to deal with daily for five years. I will never forgive them for the hassle, um, the grief and the torture I was exposed to. After five years I finally walked. Oh, I walked out a couple of times, but after five years I walked for good. And I seek legal action. Moving on, anyway, all the, put that to the back now. Right? So at 27 years old, with no job, I decided to join a two-year extended diploma course in engineering. This was the same course I walked from 11 years ago, when I was 17. 17, 16, right then. Um, it was held at the Northwest Regional College again, and it was run by a guy called Gary Mal, who was a course coordinator. Um, he was a gentleman. Um, as were all the lectures, and it was a really, really good college, I have to say. Um, I gained more skills within 3D modeling and electronic simulation uh, that have boosted my hobby since. On completion of the course, I decided to put an application for, into my local university for an engineering degree. Three years later, I achieved a first class honours degree in electrical and electronic engineering. I then decided to return to industry, so I applied for jobs and I actually got accepted for a couple of places that I used to work in. Obviously not that alcohol factory. Um, however, I heard all talk about a PhD course, so I applied for the, an award and a PhD of interest. This was successful in the end and I was very happy and glad to get it and I still have to this day, I love it. So I recently completed my first year confirmation in the research area Smart Sensing to facilitate a better health. Basically I'm working in around Smart Sensing gloves to assist with the diagnosis of rheumatoid arthritis and for rehabilitation uh, activities or hand exercises. However, other diseases such as um, Parkinson's diseases are also considered as well. So basically they um, looking into ways of monitoring um, range of motion within your hand joints. Um, please keep on updating all my projects throughout this channel as they will not appear at once due to the commitment of uh, the PhD. Please understand I am a beginner to video editing and it, uh, if I didn't do this now I would never have done it. Um, I don't have much time and that's one of the reasons. Due to the technical procedures of all my projects and the countless number of hours, they will not be recorded throughout the build. So any future projects, I'm not going to sit and video, video them right through. The, I'll be taking a lot of screenshots because it video them and it takes a lot of time, I notice. So I've been studying for six years now and my time is limited throughout past projects. Um, there are, however, thousands of images of some of my projects and detailed steps throughout the build process of all my projects um, will be added to the end of every video. So um, I will do a demonstration. So first comes a demonstration of the video or of the actual project. Second, oh sorry, oh, I got that wrong. So first comes a viewing description of the project. Um, second, a demonstration on the 3D CAD model, if any. And third, a number of images will also be added to the end of each video. I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. I'm going to just, I'm going to just um, uh, do my first video and see what happens. And if it works, it works. If it doesn't work, I will modify it. So for me to sit and make videos of each step would run into months of work. And it's something I don't have at the moment. And I hope you understand this. I have um, a lot, a lot, a lot. Of a lot of projects and stuff to do, but um, I have to put my PhD as my first priority. So, since the start of the DC5 project, which is there on the um it has drawn a lot of attention worldwide in the past. It has also, it is also um, unique as some of my projects 
and as it's customizable for all my own manufactured parts, I'll have me made in this garage. I should also add that some guys in California and Canada may remember my product, my website or the project car itself, the TF J32 A2 DC5 V6 V6 V10 project car. I have recently started um, this car after countless number of years. I've been held up through studying, as I discussed. Now you just will understand the hold up. Um, what I can say is I've produced new parts for the J32A2 engine that are very interesting. I should also add when I finish up with my PhD, I plan on big things. Um, I can't wait till that time comes because it's been a long process. I'm now going into my seventh year studying. It's been really hard, really tough. Um, the first is to finish the gold of the Earl Adam V6. I have designed it on SolidWorks, um, the actual car. Um, I've designed it off lots of thousands of photos and I'm going to cover that in a YouTube video too. At the moment my funding is very limited for all projects such as the DC5 and the Earl Adam. Oh yes, the fitters and bullies of the company, look at me now.